Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of ReZero Season 2, Episode 13, The Sounds That Make You Want to Cry, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero! We have entered blind reaction territory! I have no idea what's gonna happen at all! Well, I mean, I have guesses, but that's not knowing, that's, that's watching a show. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, the <laughs> show... I'm excited. Are you excited? I think this is the first core finale, pretty sure. Uh... Holy moly, is this like a long episode? Normal like that? Well, a little long, actually. 27 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sounds that make you want to cry could be the, the call of the witch, though. Or the uh, that uh, plays whenever he returns by death. Uh, I could also... Uh, be the sounds of his friends and loved ones dying. Ah! Picking right up. Okay. Past all those barriers. Okay. And are we gonna hear you speak? That's the question. And see your face. Speaking more important. Speaking. Speaking. And not being crazy. Well, okay, a little crazy, but like not demented crazy. Okay, she's returning to demented. Do you have a... There's gotta be... One of the other witches. Yes, stand up, Subaru. Okay. Ooh, I like that you're the one coming to him with this sort of logic. It sort of creates a parallel for your character, and it, you know, the 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 uh, manic behavior we saw her having before. Ooh, <laughs> whoa! I, I wouldn't imagine any of you are particularly happy with her. Perhaps, uh, uh, Daphne's probably cool with her. <laughs> uh, but you do get to save people. That's the, uh, that's the rub. Ert? She sounds like Amelia. Could it be possible that Echidna's still hosing him in some way? Is she saying to stop putting yourself in situations where you die? I don't think she cares about anybody else. My question is, why you? Why did she hone in on you? I'm assuming she isekai'd you. She may not have. Maybe something else is going on there. But that's my assumption.
to be fair, it, 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 the things he's trying to handle are... He's pretty much stuck handling them alone, uh, with the exception of Echidna trying to back him up. That's why he needs to figure out the perfect solution to either get others to help him in the perfect way so they don't die. Oh, he's, he's not, like, being torn apart! You're interesting, Typhon. I think your name is Typhon, yes. He doesn't want your love, but there's got to be more to it. I mean, sure there is. Why? How? She, he bit his tongue? He's trying to kill himself. No. Are you saving him? Typhon. I like both of you. Segment. Uh, it's not a matter of being on his side or not. I think he should have stayed here too. Um, but I, I love that, that, that they have, st all have strong wills towards what they want to do. Oh, uh, usually, not, not always, he's not perfect. Usually pushes as, as far... You don't know? I want to learn so much more about you, Satella. He usually pushes it as far as he can before he dies. Uh, granted... If my thinking is right, so tell us saying, stop putting yourself in situations where you're going to die. Uh, but that's not really his, an option for Subaru most of the time. He's not badass enough to, to win, and he, he cares enough to, st to stay in the fight. So, dying's really his only option most of the time. Hell yeah! Uh, but, but yeah, it's not like he, it's not like he, every time something goes wrong, he's just like, stab, die. He, he's gotten a little closer to being that, <laughs> but that's not really been his damage. Uh, really, I don't, if my thinking is right, I don't think him and Satella could ever come to full terms. On, uh, how he's been behaving, but why? And how can Satella be here to talk with them? Or do anything while she's imprisoned? Like, does she have some method she's using? Or is it just she's that powerful? Are they giving him a minute to be alone? You also look like Amelia. Maybe there's something to that beyond what we've thought before. I mean, we already knew that she looked like Amelia, but it's spot on and she sounds like her. <laughs> what are you thinking? I thought you put her up to that.
Okay, so I see. They're all very amazing in their own way, but together... You got the creepy face? Deserves a little bit of the vilification, Echidna. A little bit. Uh, I'm not really, I don't, we don't know enough about the other witches, uh, to make a judgment call, but you and Satella, uh, I think we've got enough to say, uh, not great. You can't trust her is the problem. If there's any question, I'm going to be rewatching this episode several times. So if there's anything I missed, A, I would like, not from the light novels, like, if I met, like, if something has happened in the future, but if you guys notice something here that I missed, do tell me. Truly slothful. Oh hell yeah! I thought she was gonna go for the line because of the the uh the uh witch factor. I should have known. I should have known. Oh, I do hope that you get to, all of you get to be a part of the story, at least in some aspects. You don't know most of them. They're a little nuts for sure. Oh, 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 I, also Daphne. <laughs> we got enough information to know. Bad guy, maybe not evil, like, in the head, but that caused enough bad. By the way, I did misunderstand before what they, what they meant by the faceless bride thing. Uh, I thought they were they, she was talking about when he she first used it on Subaru not not a second ago. Not saved you, saved others is the important thing for you. Hell yeah. We're not gonna learn anything about Satella's general motivations here, are we? Look at Typhon! What's the fucking third trial? Yeah, 
I don't remember if this was in the anime or not. But in... Yes, she does look... Oh, no. Not just like Beatrice. I love you, Subaru Natsuki. No, we're pausing. We are pausing. Stopping the timer. Um, yeah, setting the timer to 14.35 for when I do press play. Subaru Natsuki, if I'm correct, in the light novel, I don't believe they put this in the anime. Uh, towards the end of season one, I believe, the last time he saw Satella, he said in the book, uh, you know, next time I see you, I've got to come speak to you. And she has like a gasp moment kind of thing where, you know, she kind of recoils a little bit from hearing that. Yeah, I may be screwing up the actual cadence of how the scene went down, but that's basically what happened. I don't think that was in the anime. It might have been, and I'm just misremembering, but duh. Ugh. I love... Sekhmet's the only one I don't really fully understand yet. Um, just because she had kind of the least to give, which ironically works for her character. Um, but... Yeah, I love that each of the other six witches, uh, seem to have a sensible motivation behind their actions. And they're not just fodder character like i might have assumed typhon was uh the first time we met her like yeah they, they yeah what, what i'm saying is like uh i'm gonna i don't have a piece of paper to illustrate my meaning anyway uh pretend i'm holding a piece of paper like the author just r drew up a pa character gave her a couple of weird personality traits and a cool superpower and was like yes this will work for a scene done no she is seems to have depth and general interest to her. Every character, not every, but 90% of the characters in ReZero could carry their own show. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, that, that's the thing is I'm going to be upset no matter who we don't focus on because I'm going to be like, I want more of that. I want more of that. I want more of that. You know? Uh, Typhon was great. I, I loved that Minerva was much less ditzy than she appeared to be the first time we met her because she was a little flustered the first time we met her. Uh, she she had a, a force of will behind her that implies this powerful, basically ancient, uh, dead person. Uh, you know, around her that, that is more than just, oh, this is the Witch of Wrath. She uh, wants to heal the world. Um... <laughs> Mm. Fuck yeah! And Subaru, his, I I know I was talking a bit much about how he didn't really put. He usually pushed it as far as possible, but and, and I do think that that's a, they're, they're they're being a little unfair to him in that aspect. The the intel he used returned by death. He usually pushed it as far as possible, not every time, but most of the time. But they hit the nail on the head. With his failure to care for himself, or just to general, I, I, I again, a light novel thing, not a, not a show thing. I don't, I, I, I don't think this was ever in the show, but he says that at one point that Petal Goose has the eyes of the per, the, of the person he second most hates in the world, and he doesn't tell the whoever he's talking to at the time that his own eyes are the first most hated. Uh, Subaru Natsuki, uh, throughout the story, even before, like, he dies the first time, is just a self-loathing person. Um, because of his personality burying himself, his bad luck burying himself, and some, fam fam some of the stuff with his family we saw uh, earlier in the season, burying himself to the point of his own complete despair. And... Yeah, even now that he, even now that with him seeming more in control sometimes, which he is, he's getting better uh, at the actual handling the fantasy world part. He still hasn't come to the point of truly trusting and caring in himself and, you know, 
putting himself first. Which, ironically, is going to be a bit of a problem with Beatrice. <laughs> uh, is he going to put her first next time he sees her? Anyway. Um. <laughs> God. But yeah, no, even he, 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 with Otto, he was so convinced of his own failure as a human being. Uh, it, and his only use as a human being being to save people because lives are at risk constantly in this world, to be fair. That he didn't even fully, he didn't comprehend that Otto would save him because well, you're, you're, you're my friend, which there's not a lot of them to be had in this world. My phone's going off to heck with you. Subaru Natsuki is probably my favorite main character in any anime. He's just such a well-conceived... This is the trick. Is You know how I said 90% of the characters in ReZero could carry their own show? Probably even more than 90% be real. Subaru is still somehow the most interesting character, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure there are other people who disagree. Maybe the waifu wars get in the way of that a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I, Team Amelia or uh, e EMT, woo. But that's that's not the, the factor that I think most people should be focusing on because it is a character study and it's masterful. And like, just to be clear, like everyone else, I am looking forward very deeply to seeing Rem again in in living color and in waking color. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't, I, I've kind of run the course of things to talk about. I'm gonna continue. Three, it's starting at 1435 in three, two, one, go. Petrash! Yes, Otto! Good boy! What is the third trial? How did you get in? How did Petrash get in? Wasn't there like... Don't you have... Yeah! Oh, but good, good girl. You doing the friendship speech again? <laughs> I love Otto. And I get that he's actually talking to Petrash, but that was so dorky. Got that Izakumi to real logic going for you. All right. Or, yeah. Never picked up on that before, man. <laughs> so no matter how things are coming up for him mentally right now there's still the simple fact of the situation super hard to get out of so okay we've got Roswell's a dick <laughs> Beatrice <laughs> needs to whoa why why why? Are you- are you banned from taking the trial again? What if you die? But Amelia's still in there. Are you going to Beatrice? Beatrice, you're, that's going to be your first focus, I bet. 
I don't think you can get to Amelia right now. Oh. I think he's dead. He's died a lot in this arc, yeah, but I don't really... Roswell's, for the most part, he's not been the greatest at interrogating, so I don't think that was a, an entirely honest thing. Not a matter of cowardice, he can't. What's your resolve going to be? It's not so simple as to say that fuck Amelia. That That's obviously not it. No, his resolve has changed. Did he just off himself? This is the, yeah, this is one of your big problems, is dealing with this guy, ideally without him understanding how Return by Death works, because you might need to use that at some point. I don't even... You do realize he could just fucking leave you like he did in the alternate story with Rem, right? You did hire. You totally hired Elsa and, uh, the other girl, right? You're the employer. Mm hmm I knew it. That was easy enough to figure out. Yeah, yeah, you're a bastard, we know. I can't believe you didn't think of that, dude, <laughs> to be honest, this one time. I got you. Fuck you, he's going to figure it out. Your eyes are a part of it, okay. They, they brought up the eyes a lot in the light novels, too. It was easier to uh, pick up on how important they were. <laughs> Are you doing something to him? The the makeup is it on Osubaru's face? 
He bit himself? This is going to be a crazy cliffhanger. Yeah, his face. Next time we see it, he's going to have like Roswell's eyes or something. Echidna hosed Roswell. Did she do a, sa a favor to him? No, I think she's hosing you this time. It's not a dead dude. Yeah, it's not you. He doesn't give a fuck about you. What's going to happen? What's he doing to him? Okay, so I don't think he cursed him or nothing like that, like I was thinking for a second there. Like, I was really fucking worried that he was doing some sort of magic thing that would carry between death loops. But maybe not. You need to lock down to Beatrice. You need her help. Once you solve that step one, you can work on step two. The, you, you're... Fuck yeah, Otto. You also need to work with Otto from the start to get anything done. Avoid Roswell in all future loops because we don't really understand how his eyes work. Okay, Otto's best boy status is a little suspicious here. Yeah, that's what I was about. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually distrusting you a little bit right now, Otto. Not completely, but I, I'm not entirely convinced you are Otto. That was just too convenient, you know? Even if he was following him the perfect timing. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <sighs> I mean, to be fair, he sucks at it anyway, so does he- it doesn't really matter? Is over? Oh. Aw, oh, man! Ah, I want more. January can't come quick enough. And I didn't think I'd be saying that for any other reason than that 2020 will finally be over, but I have another reason. Good. I already really talked at length about the stuff I wanted to talk about. 
Um, if you are only here for my re-zero reactions, I see you in January. If you are interested in other content on the channel, um, I what do I do? I do things. Adventure time. Along with upcoming shows like Kipo and Glitch Tex. Um, I'm doing Ruby soon. IQ, I did the first few seasons for, and it's picking up on uh, this coming Friday, I believe. Um, I plug myself, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, other YouTube nonsense. Uh, yeah, this, ah, uh, I'm... Discuss in comments. Amazing TV show. I'm kind of mad, honestly. It's amazing and I'm mad. Because I have to wait. Oh, Amphibia. I also do Amphibia, which is currently on hiatus until the middle of October, so I have to wait for that, too. Uh, Owl House. Um, DuckTales. I'm working on DuckTales right now. I need to quit while I'm ahead. Uh, woo!